A computer is an overgrown calculator that computes numbers and does absolute magic with the output results. The first real computer was invented by Charles Babbage in the 19th century. He thought of a machine that would do difficult calculations automatically, and he called it the Difference Engine. The Difference Engine was very different from the computers we know today, weighing about 3 tons and being around 3 meters tall. However, he did not end up finishing the Difference Engine, in fact, he would hardly ever finish anything, as he would always think of a better idea, and would begin working on that instead, because he thought of an even better machine. This new machine even had a memory, and he called it the Analytical Engine. As you might have guessed by now, he didn't end up finishing the Analytical Engine either. Over the next hundred years, inventors kept on making better and better overgrown calculators, using some very creative ideas, such as Konrad Suse, who, while living with his parents, created a machine that was programmed by punching holes into old cinema film. Another very important figure in computer history is Alan Turing. During World War II, the Germans encoded their secret strategic military messages using Enigma code, which was famously difficult to crack. Turing created the Bombeck computer to help the British break the Germans' unbreakable code. Later, when the Germans thought of an even more complex code, Turing helped make the Colossus, a massive computer the size of an entire room, to crack that code too. By the end of the 20th century, computers were starting to become more and more synonymous with everyday life. The first personal computers made by IBM and Apple were starting to sell, some guy named Bill was starting to create software for those computers, and Tim Berners-Lee created some sort of a web that connected everyone through the internet. As of today, we use computers daily without hardly even realizing it. Computers today are truly astonishing and can do almost anything you could imagine, even creative tasks like writing jazz. Whether or not all of that is a good thing, I'll leave up to you to decide.